Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I don't know what that is. So today guys, I did a simple, it wasn't supposed to be a cut crease, but somehow in the middle of me creating this look, it turned into a cut crease, so we're just gonna go with it. Okay. We're gonna jump right on into the video, and I hope you guys like it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. And here I'm going in with my Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. This is my holy grail. I use it every single day, and unfortunately, it's time for your girl to get a new one. That is how much I use it. And here I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Enigma, and I'm going to be using that to prime my eyelids, and then I'm going to use a Beauty Blender and kind of press that into my eyelids and blend it all out. And here I'm taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and just setting my eyelids so there is no creasing at all. So for this video today, I'm going to be using the Tarte Tardius Pro Palette and I'm going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Here I'm taking my Morphe M535 Blending Brush and taking the shades Indie and Bold and starting my crease shades. Then I will go in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette in the shade Puree to kind of build my crease up a little bit and make sure it is nice and blended. Using Windshield Wiper Motions, I'm just going to work that shade Puree into my crease and make sure it is all blended out. Then taking the same blending brush, I'm taking the shade Mod, and I'm going to start with windshield wiper motions and working that into my crease area, but making sure it is nice and blended. Also, don't forget when working with any pigmented colors, you want to make sure that you tap off any excess that is coming on your brush. And then taking No Filter and Fierce. I'm taking a brush from the Morphe 690 Deluxe Contour Set and working these two shades into my crease line. This is kind of an angled brush, so it's kind of perfect for that area. And I'm just making sure it is all blended out using windshield wiper motions. Now taking the Candy Apple Red Set Blending Brush and I'm just taking those same two shades and just making sure it's all nice and blended in my crease. When doing a cut crease, you want to make sure it is as precise as possible. So here I'm using a tiny random uh, detailer brush and I'm just carving out my eyelids. Um, for the primer, I'm using the same one as before, the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And just making sure that it is as precise and as equal to the other one as possible. It does take some time with this, so don't be frustrated. Learning how to do a cut crease for me took me a couple months before I actually felt like I got it down packed. And like everything in makeup and in life, once you practice it a couple times, you will be great at it. And for my base of my cut crease, I'm going to be mixing the shades Glam from the Tardius Pro Palette with Lucius and Bellini from the Sweet Peach Palette as my base of it. 
um, I just didn't want to go directly in with the glitter I wanted to make sure that we are mixing those shades together I also went in with ethereal I think is how you say it from the Tardis Pro palette to kind of give it a little extra oomph because the glitter that I'm going to use is a little bit on the golder side so I wanted to just give it some things to tie it all in together I also sprayed some of my Milani Make It Last um, setting spray to kind of make the shimmers a little bit more pigmented and metallic like. And so that is what I'm doing right now. And just in patting down, pressing down motions, I'm pressing the shadow into the area. And now just taking the puree shade again, as you can see, there's a little bit of fallout and kick up from it. I'm just making sure everything is nicely blended together. And here for eyeliner, I'm using my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Taking my Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Foundation in number 330, I'm going to be using a Luxie brush and pressing that into my face and just making sure it gets all over and I spread the product everywhere. <laughs> I thought some had fallen on my lap and that would not have been good. Yes, I know this shade is a little bit light for me right now, but that is what we're going to fix when we contour and add some depth. And I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and just make sure all of my foundation is nice and smooth and there are no streak marks due to me using a brush. And here I'm taking my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and I'm going to put that underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, and my forehead and my lower cheek area. I'm taking a damp beauty blender. I'm going to blend that all out. I like my under eye to have a little bit more full coverage so I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape and a Morphe stippling brush and just blending that all out underneath my eyelids. And taking a beauty blender I'm just putting very so lightly some of my translucent powder underneath my eye and here I'm going to add a little bit more so I can bake. I normally will bake for about a couple minutes while I finish my eyes or if there's anything else that I need to finish with my eyeshadow or anything that I need to blend out, I just kind of let it sit there for a couple minutes. And while I bake, I'm going to be finishing up my eyes and adding some mascara using my Food Face Better Than Sex Mascara.
here I'm just brushing off the areas that I did and then picking off all the extra translucent powder. And for contour today I'm going to be using the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. All the shades that I use from this palette will be listed in the description box below. I'm taking the Urban Decay Razor Sharp Water Resistant Long Wear Liquid Eyeliner. Whoa, that's a mouthful. In the shade Gold Rush, and I'm going to pack that glitter liner on top of my eyelids where we had the cut crease to kind of make it pop a little bit more. And for highlight, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Ultimate Glow Kit, and I'm just going to highlight all the high points of my nose, my upper cheek area, my nose, and my cupid's bow. And here I'm using the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Beauty Mark. I'm just taking a big Morphe Fluff brush. I'm just going to blend everything out and make sure it's nice and seamless. And then I'm going to use my Lash Domination by Bare Minerals and I'm going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like this video that I, it would truly, truly, truly mean the world to me if you guys subscribe. And if you guys like this video, give it a big ol' thumbs up for me, okay? And I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you to my mom, to Glad, to all my best friends, to all of my family members that have been pushing me from day one. Um. So yeah, guys, thanks. Thanks for everything. I know it's not much right now, but it does mean the world that my family members, my friends, or just people across the world watch my videos, little old me. I never would have thought that I would be here right now. Kind of working on the dream that I really, really want to achieve. So guys, thanks. We're going for the ride together and I want to say thank you very, 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 very much. And I love you guys so, so, so much. If you guys aren't already, please subscribe to my channel. For but yeah, guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.